Alright, part two of the installation on the 2010 Hyundai Sonata installation of the strut. Okay, so I got my bolt in. Gotta put the nut on it. Right here. And I am gonna clean that bolt up. That other bolt that you seen goes for um, okay we're back here so don't forget to put that that bolt back in here after you get this tightened down um, but you might want to like say I'm gonna clean mine yours might be looking just like what mine is so good indication to clean it clean it don't strip out don't clean it take a chance of stripping the threads and slip your linkage and stuff back in tighten that down you now the bolt I told you how to clean and use a wire brush or a wire wheel on a drill I normally clean these up with a uh, wire brush uh, wire brush uh, on a drill but I'm going to use just a handheld wire brush and some WD-40 and get those threads nice and clean. A little cleaner than what it was. I like the wire wheel on a drill better, uh, but doing it by hand gets it pretty decent and gets the threads and stuff cleaned out. You just don't want no debris in there. I mean, that's all, you just keep it from stripping out or whatever, or cross-threading, but anyway. All right, so I got that bolt back there tightened down, cleaned and tightened down. Next thing, just the easy part, putting the lines and stuff back, which got your bolts and stuff still in there. That will go right there. There's a little tab under here, and there's a little hole right there, so that's got to get lined up and then pushed back down. And since it's kind of hard for me to do that with one hand. And of course these two brackets bolt on to each other with that one little bolt. You notice you got a tab back there that that slides into this back bracket. Once you do that and get that tightened down, then this will come up like that. And that little tab will go into, go into that hole right there. So that's all there is to that part. And also, this just gets pushed back. It comes loose on you, and when you took everything off, it just pops back into the, I gum it, I can't get my hand, uh, camera straight. Anyway, it just pops right back in there, just like that. Now, if you accidentally bent this while you was trying to pry it up, there's an easy solution to this, so don't panic. You can get you a thin piece of board and lay back here. I'm gonna use a piece of flooring and get that laid back there. And which again, this will have to take two hands because one of your hands is gonna prize up like that. While you take a body hammer or any type of hammer, preferably something like this. And you just kinda wanna hit in here and get that flattened out and I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. And there you go, bent right back into shape. And that's the way it's supposed to look. So anyway, which y'all know what to do after this. Put your tire and stuff back on, lower the jack or you can leave it up and then, like I said, do the other side, same process. All right guys, I'll see y'all later. Um, I guess this is probably a part two i think it was maybe anyway but anyway on the next video i'm gonna do on the uh back shocks how to replace those but for now i gotta go on to the passenger side and get that done all right guys talk to you later stay blessed